Is your dog afraid of water and you don't know how to bathe them? In this Animal Wise video, we explain the steps you need to follow to give a bath to a dog afraid of water. Before providing our recommendations, it's important to ensure we have adequate space to bathe our dog. If not, we can go to a groomer who is well versed in the practice of bathing dogs. Not only do they have all the equipment and space to bathe the dog comfortably, they have the experience and training to ensure they keep the dog calm and maintain their well-being. They will employ the advice we give you now in the rest of this video. Convey security. The first thing we have to do is provide a safe and relaxed environment. We need to treat the dog firmly but without causing fear. This means we should never employ physical or verbal violence. We need to handle the dog so they know what we are doing and that we won't hurt them. Instilling confidence is important to accomplish this, as is avoiding loud noises or making them nervous. Use a non-slip mat. On the floor of the bathtub we have to put a mat or some other non-slip material. This is another factor that will give the dog peace of mind, since without this they can slip which increases their discomfort. If you don't have a mat, you can use a large folded towel. Reassure them in the bathtub. Before starting the bath, we must keep the dog calm in the tub. To do this, we can pet them affectionately, speak reassuringly, and give them treats and rewards for their good behaviour. Do this when they sit still, but not when they are acting up. If you give them treats when not in the bath, this can encourage them to escape. If you find it difficult to keep the dog calm in this situation, then you can do some warm-up sessions in the bathtub before actually taking the bath. In this video, we share some professional advice of how to bathe your dog for the first time properly. Turn the faucet on slowly. Once you have reassured them, we can start to turn on the water. Some dogs will get fidgety or anxious at this point, especially if we turn the water on quickly. This is why we should turn the tap or faucet at its lowest pressure. We may even want to keep a bucket or tub instead of using the shower. This way, we can wet the sponge and then transfer it to the dog's coat. Depending on how the dog gets on, you can use the shower head with an increased water flow. Remove possible falling objects. It's important to remove objects from around the bathtub which might fall into it. We should keep the shampoo bottle next to us on the floor or at the bottom of the tub itself. If something falls, it might scare the dog and undo all of our good work in reassuring. Start wetting them from top to bottom. We should begin to wet the dog on the legs, then work our way up to the chest. There are dogs which may have been originally scared, but find the water quite relaxing at this point. Remember to reward them only when they are sitting still. If they become restless, we should start over by getting them to sit still, and then continuing with the water. This is important to avoid associating the bathroom with negative experiences. If they are nervous, but we force them to continue with the bath, the situation will only get worse. A relaxed atmosphere must be fostered at all times. From the chest we can go over to the back and tail. The last parts are the belly and the head. It won't be necessary to wash their face as this can scare them. We can do this at the end by cleaning them with a wet towel. If the dog wants to be seated, respect their wishes, even if this means the bath isn't perfect. When they lose their fear, we will have more time to bathe them standing up. Soak them calmly. Once wet, although it may not be as thorough as we would like to begin with, we turn the water off and lather. We will always remain calm and repeat the same pattern at all times. If the dog gets nervous, we stop, reassure them and reward them once they are calm. Rinse thoroughly. Once the shampoo is applied, we will open the water again and rinse in the same order that we wet them at the beginning. Although it's best to lather twice, we can settle for one application with dogs afraid of water. When they lose their fear, we can bathe them better. Dry them. Drying will be done with towels, removing as much moisture as possible. You can use the dryer if the dog tolerates it. If not, we will reassure them to keep them still, rewarding them when they accept and stopping when they are nervous. With these tips, we should begin to observe an improvement. However, if despite everything, the dog does not lose any of their fear, we must seek professional advice from a veterinarian, ethologist or canine educator. Tell us, does your dog like to get bathed or are they afraid of water? Leave us a comment and we'll see you next time.